finally figured out how I'm gonna run this diesel tank. This bungee cord is pretty awesome. It can hold a lot of weight, so I think it's gonna be perfect for this. I actually got a deal on the bungee cord too, so I think this is pretty sweet. Psych. I'm not really doing that, guys. This is just for a test. Probably got you guys, though. So I figured before I cut a hole in my pretty plywood box, I would make sure this thing actually runs because I have never had this thing fired up and I've had it installed for about two or three months. I've got my fingers crossed, I've got my toes crossed, and everything crossed. So I ended up just hooking it to the battery with this little piece of 16.2 I still had left over from the lights. I just barely had enough to make it. I actually had the low voltage air pop up when I hooked it up to my other battery. It's blowing like outside temperature air right now. So it's blowing fairly decently too. Like I didn't know how powerful this thing would be. Okay, so I just got an error message and this bad boy shut down. It's not what we love to see, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it try to boot back up again and see what happens. There goes the fuel pump, that's a good sign. I can tell you guys it is blowing hot air and this is so awesome, and this is so awesome, and this is so awesome. But because I kept getting that error code 10, I was looking in the manual for it and it only goes up to error code nine in the manual, so I was thinking, man, what in the world? I, I didn't know what to do. It's like, you know what, I'll give it one more shot. I gave it one more shot and she fired right up. I guess it was just bringing the drama, but super stoked. Happy camper, guys. Yeah. got this microwave and I put it in this box and secured it there. In this light the stain looks pretty good but in every other light the stain is just, just not a vibe. I've got this cable and I decided to use these little cargo hooks. You can't see them because I covered it up with the insulation and the um, fabric and I've got a hole in my box and I will tighten this down and crimp it right there so it should stay. And I've also got screws into my box that shoot down into my big thick rubber mat. So this thing is already pr pretty solid, but once I get this table cinched up, it's gonna be a lot better too. Um, yeah, all right, I, I've gotta turn on my timid draw, guys. No stain, no gain, brother. That was weird. That was really weird. OK, 
okay it got late it got cold but I was too excited not to share this with you guys I've got the bed top made I've got the bed side mounted I've got the bed box mounted I've got the countertop mounted oh, guys this is insane this is crazy, it's coming together so fast and, and I'm honestly just geeking out right now because this is so awesome. But um, it did get really cold really fast, so I'm gonna go inside. All right, let's see, we've got fast wood, clean wood, down cut wood, I guess clean wood, right? I guess the clean wood paid off. Right on, buddy. Oh, no, yeah, this is what I meant when I said I hand sand everything. Also, sis, I, uh, I found the coffee mug that I got you for Christmas in the cabinet. I kind of figured you took it home with you and used it every day, but... No, it's, it's cool, it's cool. Uh... <laughs> When you don't have a vice, you have to become the vice. Oh boy. Has anybody else played that game before? Because um, when you fail and this thing starts spinning like crazy, it really hurts. It really hurts your fingies. <laughs> 